guys, welcome back to the garage. There's the B20 sitting there looking beautiful as hell, which is going to be going in the Khaki Civic here very soon. And of course, here's the LS1 that will be going in the E36. Um, probably not nearly as soon. These two are my main builds on the channel, okay? The Khaki Civic and the E36. All that stuff from the last video is just... I mean, it's stuff that I have in my backyard. It's, it's plans. It's stuff that I'm thinking about. I'm sure a lot of you guys think about stuff, right? And, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to plan stuff out. And I want to hear your guys' ideas. And I was just kind of venting all of my ideas, you know what I mean? But make no mistake, bro, the Khaki Civic is very important to me. Anyhow, I'm going to have a talk with you guys about this at the end of the video. I'm going to save all the boring stuff for last. Today, I am going to be working on seats, bro. These seats right here, uh, if you guys saw the last video, I got these from that storage unit. They're from a Subaru 2.5 RS. But they are in absolutely damn near perfect condition minus the fact that they are filthy as shit they're freaking filthy bro we gotta do something about that obviously they're all the seats are covered in dust they had a really thick thick layer of dust on them they still do but the back seat looks like it has a lot of stains and stuff going on I know a lot of you guys probably are not gonna like the way that I'm about ready to clean these seats, bro. It's only three words. Click, click, vroom. Some straight brown ass shit. We about to turn it on. Alright, so I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna think I just messed the seats up. Now, rightfully so, rightfully so. I get it, I understand. It's it's a weird freaking thing, right? But let me tell you for sure that I have most certainly done this before. I've done it to a few of my other vehicles I've owned in the past. Maybe it's because I live in Arizona, bro. I don't know, but you just gotta leave them out and let them dry really good. And there's no mold or mildew or whatever like a lot of you guys would probably think. I don't live in a moist state, bro. This is dry ass heat. Entire Arizona, bro, is like the inside of a dryer, I'm telling you right now. Now all we gotta do is just kinda let them dry. I'll show you guys that in a later video, dude, because they're most certainly ain't gonna dry today. 
Not to mention, that's not what today's video is about, guys. Today's video is about these Corbo seats. I think I pronounced it correctly now. A lot of you guys gave me instruction on how to pronounce this, so it's Corbo. Corbo, right? Corbo? Not Corbau. Corbau. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, I have received a lot of interest about these seats for whatever reason. Um, I guess that these are actually badass seats, bro. They're just not in badass condition. Oh, man. Damn, okay. That was a pretty cool looking blue before they got faded to shit. What I am wanting to do is try to restore these seats, bro. I want to make them look halfway decent. So first thing we got to do, obviously, is get them out of the car. Get them all unbolted. Crap, dude, I'm telling you, with this seat sitting here, I mean, in the condition it's in, of course, it really makes me appreciate, like, how good of condition that these Momos are in, bro. Like, I mean, they have little flaws, of course, little scratches here and there, but dude, but overall, these are some really freaking clean seats. Yes, I'm sweating my ass off because it is hot as hell inside of my garage right now. I saw the comments in the last video. First things first is I'm gonna go over with the air compressor and just try to get as much of this dust off as I possibly can. I probably should clean these things the same way that I just did uh, those Subaru seats, but if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to dye them today, bro. We'd have to wait for them to dry. Which would mean no video. But yeah, basically, I'm gonna try to get them as clean as I possibly can. I'll probably wipe this stuff down. Um, and I'm also going to mask these sections off so that we don't dye the caribou. Like, God, I should really, I really should pressure wash these. It would probably get this all white. <sighs> Damn it. Anyhow, I'm gonna try to get them clean and then I'm gonna mask this off. And what we're gonna be doing is using this RIT uh, fabric dye, bro. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this stuff. It's an all purpose dye, bro. And uh, I bought two bottles hoping that this is gonna be enough. It should be enough. You know what I'm saying? I think a whole bottle per seat. And what I'm gonna be doing is basically spraying them, spraying the dye on there the same way that you would um, paint. You know what I mean? Be spraying it through my gun. Holy shit. Lovely. Just freaking lovely. Alright guys, I got the seat bracket and the seat rails taken off because these things are freaking filthy as shit and they are going to have to be degreased. But, um, another thing is I am going to probably end up using these rails on my Momo seats so that we can mount our seats finally inside of the Khaki Civic, bro. Um, honestly, that is another reason, um, kind of the main reason why it is I even picked up that that shell is because i i wanted the seat rails bro in other news i wasn't recording but head got home and he made sure to let the whole neighborhood know he's home like he always does got the seats as clean as i possibly can and i got them sat up on buckets um i am gonna have to kind of spray underneath because the fabric does wrap around the bottom of the seat um, i have my led light set up here because of course like i knew that we were going to um, we lost sunlight. 
So I got my gun here. Uh, it's a little filthy right now, so don't judge me. I use these things every day at work, bro. This is a Graco. It's the Finex line. This is a 1.8 millimeter tip. Um, this is what I actually use for spraying primer. This stuff is kind of thick, bro. It's kind of thick. Um, I'm not gonna reduce it because honestly, I don't know what to reduce it with and I'm just gonna oh shit You gotta at least shake it really good first I'm just gonna pour this stuff straight in there. Oh, it's not as thick as I thought it was man That's that that's actually pretty damn thin bro But I'm just gonna pour one in there for now to see how far that gets us um, This this cup system. This is a hard cup and then it has a sleeve that slides inside of it uh, the sleeve is disposable and then it has these little lids that pop on you pop the lid on top and then you got this piece right here that screws on it holds it all together and then this is like a quick release that uh, this attachment on my gun it just pops on and you spin it and it locks on there and then as you spray the paint this little liner on the inside actually squishes shut so that you don't have to have a breather hole on this cup system and you can actually spray the gun upside down bro and paint still comes out just fine this is made by 3m it is their pps system um i know a lot of you guys have asked me that in the past and that's the reason why i'm mentioning it if you guys notice the lid actually has a built-in filter also which is really nice but then that lid screws on nice and tight this thing just bow you have to push it in you push it on there and then you just give it a turn and it's locked on ready to go Almost forgot to mess that stuff off, dude. Almost. See if this one will work. Pretty close. It needs to be a little bigger. So I had to go buy some more freaking dye because I ran out. Um, so to let you guys know, I bought two bottles originally and that wasn't even enough to finish one damn seat, bro. Holy shit. So I went running around. I went to two different Walmarts and the first one didn't have any. The second one, I found three bottles. But I will tell you, I found something out, okay? Do you see these bottles? These are the ones I originally bought. The exact same thing as this one, right? Okay. These bottles cost me five bucks each. These bottles cost me, it was like two seventy dollars each, so a little under three dollars each. And you know the only difference? These bottles were in the arts and crafts section. These bottles were over next to all the laundry soap and everything and like the cleaning supplies. <laughs> it's the exact same freaking product, the exact same bottle. But if you get it from the cleaning supply area, they're three bucks each. You get it from Arts and Craft, five bucks each. Go figure. This makes me so freaking nervous now since I almost hit the damn car one time. All right, I mentioned to you guys earlier that I wanted to say something at the end of the video. And I just wanted to let you guys know we're going to put the engine in the hatch, okay? The engine's going to go in the hatch. I'm taking it one step at a time, bro. Just to be honest with you, this car has never been about getting it done. It's never been about getting it done. I mean, we're going to finish it. But when I started this thing, it, it was all about the process, okay, of building something in your garage slowly 
over the period of time on a budget, bro, because to be honest with you guys, I'm on a freaking budget. I'm a family man. I have a shitload of bills. That doesn't mean that I'm broke, okay? I, I see the comments. I read every freaking comment, all right? It doesn't mean that I'm broke. It means I have priorities. So my bills come first. My savings account for emergency money in case something happens and I can't work or something along those lines. All that stuff comes first before this Civic, dude. I'm sorry. That's just the way that it is. So we are going to be putting the engine in the freaking Civic, man. It's going to be done. But, like, God, I'd be, I've been seeing people, like, on Instagram, like, that's it. I'm not even going to follow anymore. Unsubscribe because the engine's not in the car yet. What I have to say to you is peace. See you later, man. All right. I'm sorry if that offended anybody. My rant is over. It's just... You know what I mean? I'm never on that negative type of trip. It's just, it, it's, it's been weighing on me, bro. I read all of your guys' comments. That's it. I'm done talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, we didn't get both of the seats finished up. It got really late. I ran out of dye. Had to go to the store. I need, I need to, I need to get a shower, get in bed, get ready for work tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, I think it came out pretty damn good. I know you guys can see this. There is a hint of blue still in there. And I really think that now that I've got a really good coat on here, that if we we're to let this dry until let's say tomorrow and then hit it with another coat of the dye, I think it would come out looking really freaking good. I mean, dude, look at the before and after. I mean, this is actually a pretty damn decent looking seat right now. I mean, minus the fact that it needs another coat of dye, okay? Just bear with me, trust me guys. And then look at the before, dude. I mean, I don't know if some of you guys maybe like this color. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this blue. It originally was a lot brighter, but still, like I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. I think the black looks a lot nicer I'm go ahead and get these finished up tomorrow after work thinking about even redoing the the corbo lettering right here try to get it redone in white so i'll most certainly share with you guys the finished product this was just an idea that i had it was an idea that i had because i mean they were some decent looking seats they just need to be cleaned up you know what i'm saying and i hope i hope maybe this helps somebody out there one of you guys who possibly you know needs some Need some restoration on your seats, you know what I'm saying? I'll also let you guys see how these things turn out once they completely dry. I'll also let you guys know how in the hell it is that I got all this off my freaking hands, man. Peace! <laughs>